There seems to be much expansion in the airline industry in the Turks and Caicos. As 15-year-old Air Turks and Caicos this week also told WIV4 of enhancements. General Manager Peter Ford said they have added another stop to Jamaica and another stop into Haiti. We lost direct service into uh, Kingston, Jamaica. Um, we've been servicing the destination of Montego Bay, Jamaica since December 2006, and we've listened to our customers. There was a very strong demand for direct service from Providence Hills into Kingston, and we responded to that demand by launching direct service from uh, Providence Hills to Kingston, Jamaica on December 1st of 2007. All right, and when did the Haiti route start, or has it started? Um, Haiti route, yes, same thing. We have already started direct service into Port-au-Prince, once again, based on, the, on demand from our customers. We've been servicing Cap Haitian for years, and on December 5th, we've launched direct service into Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Air Turks and Caicos showed our cameras its Embraer 120 Brasilia, which seats 30, and revealed that there is an upgrade to onboard service that dictated this recent move. First of all, we are very close to our traveling public. We talk to them uh, when they come to check in. And also, we've recently started doing surveys, onboard flight surveys, not only to look at how we can improve the service that we give to our customers, how to improve the overall customer experience, but also we've been asking them what destinations they feel would fit their traveling needs. Ford explained that the Air Turks and Caicos plan is to improve style and service and admitted that world trends are also affecting their prices. Well, once again, our focus now is to improve the overall customer experience. Um, we've looked at the price of uh, petroleum-related products on the market, and they have skyrocketed. But we've done our best to make sure that we offer premium service to our customers at a premium price. So the, the prices that we have available for this Christmas season, I'm sure that our customers are considering them a steal, and we're seeing lots of sales being generated, not only at our airport locations, but also at our ticket offices. There are more changes to come for Air Turks and Caicos in the first quarter of 2008, among them additional destinations, Mr. Ford explained. We are expanding, we are expanding our presence. We're looking to become the uh, dominant presence in the Western Caribbean. Right now, with the addition of Kingston and Port-au-Prince, that makes six international destinations out of Providence Alice. Um, and we're looking to expand that in the, in the coming year by adding some more destinations, which we'll be announcing very soon. Um, also, we have the pleasure of announcing that we put our premium aircraft, the Embraer 120 Brasilia, which travels from Providenciales to Grand Turk in the morning, 7.55, and comes back. And we also have a flight going at 4.30 in the afternoon and comes back, which is what we have dubbed the business class flight. The airline, which changed its name to Air Turks and Caicos in 2003, has a 130-person staff. Ford also reported on domestic service and confirmed that the growth of the country is responsible for these augmentations. We have um, been in communication with a lot of the communities, basically Salt Key. We're still interacting with them and very recently we will be adding additional service into and out of Salt Key. Um, we have once again listened to the traveling public, listened to the communities. We've reached out to the Salt Key community. We have heard what they had to say. We have heard their demands and we're happy to say today that we have come to a conclusion on adding additional flights into Salt Key that will provide service to the people needing to come in and out.